Today is May 18th. And I'm out here gathering some cat mint. I planted this cat mint um, at the beginning of last summer. And I expected it would be deciduous and die over the winter. And I was wrong. It didn't die. And it has flourished. I put um, just one or two plants here. And I already cut this back once. And uh, I made a bunch of cat mint tea. And it's totally bigger than it was the first time I cut it back. And we're just in the middle of May now, so this is growing really well. Um, Catmint tea. Catmint is Nepeta cataria. I may be mispronouncing that, but <clears throat> catmint tea is an acquired taste. A lot of people don't like it. It is minty, but it also has a grassy, bitter flavor to it. It's an acquired taste for most people. It is a nice, chill cup of tea though if you like it if you can tolerate it you can mix it with stuff too it goes well with chamomile lavender um, I like to mix it with passion flower passion flower is another um, acquired taste as far as teas go passiflora incarnata is the most popular one I think it's the most has the most alkaloids in it those mixed together make one chill tea if you want to chill out after work a lot of times i find myself opening a bottle i would rather not do that i gotta quit doing that so i've been drinking lots of herbal tea and i just happened to have this cat mint from last year which is really cool so i uh i'm stringing it up right now i'm gonna hang this up in the skylight in my kitchen and after a couple of days, it'll be... Oh, I pulled the whole stock out on that one. That's okay. There's plenty here. After just a couple days, it'll be good to go. So, I like cat mint a lot. I have another clump across the garden. It didn't die either, but it also didn't fare near as well as that one. So this one... Hmm, smells nice and minty. There is this piece here, and then there's some popping up right here. And those are in two different locations. Did I plant two different ones? I don't remember. But anyway, our lowest temperature was 21 degrees. We saw that three or four times. We had three days totally sub-freezing where we didn't even see 32. And it didn't die over the winter. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if it will go to flower, go to seed up here in the Pacific Northwest or not. Because our summers typically lack heat although that doesn't seem to have been the case for the last couple of years we've had a couple warm summers so anyway i'm going to keep collecting cat mint i just wanted to document this because someday i'm going to look back and remember this cat mint patch and want to see a video about it